I was part of the team IV Drip. We were a freshman design team that started off as a freshman design class. The problem that we were to tackle was to regulate the flow of IV fluid delivered to a patient in the developing world. And the problem was basically that 1.5 million children die due to dehydration annually in the developing world. Unfortunately, because of the low resources there, they can't monitor children um, as they receive IV therapy. And oftentimes, the children who come in for rehydration therapy get overhydrated. And they, I mean, this is obviously a terrible risk. Overhydration can cause death. And so what we needed to do was to create a device which would autonomously regulate the flow of fluid to a child and shut off fluid after a certain point. A physician would set up our device, IV drip, in three simple steps. First, they'd permanently attach it to either a wall using bolts or an any size IV pole using hose clamps. Then they would set the scale. They do this by taking the counterweight and moving it outwards until they find the point at which the scale just barely balances then, moves the can then they move the counter weight one notch inwards for every 50 milliliters they'd like to dispense. So that was three notches, 150 milliliters. Now they set the clamping mechanism, just like they would a mouse strap, and press the IV tubing into these tube holders. They can now start fluid flow and walk away. Once the appropriate amount of fluid has been dispensed, the scale will tip, striking the clamping mechanism, which then takes the IV tubing and folds it into a V-shaped kink. This V-shaped kink stops fluid flow just like crimping a garden hose might. Our professor last semester was really, uh, ju she just loved our, the idea of having a mousetrap, especially on a medical device. It's not something you would really associate with uh, in a hospital or anything. Last semester we actually had two mousetraps, which we were able to whittle down to one. We started out with one, we brought it up to two and brought it back down to one. I've definitely learned a lot from this class because it's, there was so much trial and error. Um, Partly because we were a freshman design class and partly just because that's how engineering works.